In this video, we will look at how to use frame averaging on the X-T camera. First of all, set your exposure for a normal shot. Remember to conserve your highlights whilst using frame averaging. Then on the normal camera screen, swipe from the side. On the normal camera screen, when you swipe from the side, you will see a lot of features here. Please select the frame averaging feature. This will open several different options here. In here you can select not only your exposure options, but you can also see how long you want the frame averaging to run for. Once you are ready, push the capture button. A small percentage bar will appear at the bottom. In this video, we have sped up this process. Afterwards, we can see that we get a single image with this long exposure effect. If we zoom in here, we can see the difference between a single frame and a frame averaged image. Frame averaging also really helps when recovering shadows in our images. Again, we can see the frame averaged image on the left this time, and you can see that there is a lot less noise after lifting the shadows four stops. Finally, you need to be aware if your shot has a gap or is gapless. You can see this on the digital back here. This refers to whether there's a small pause between the sensor reading out. Usually anything faster than one quarter of a second will have a gap in. This means that if you only take a few exposures, you might see ghosting in your images as we can see here. This can be resolved with a longer shutter speed or having many more frames to average out here.